Edema, Jesus, Edema, Onyewe, Edema, Ezebube, Edema, 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 Jesus, Edema, Yahweh, Edema, Ezebube, Edema. Narari no bunyoma, narari no bunyoma. Woku chine ke woku ne nyendo, narari abunyoma. Narari no bunyoma, narari no bunyoma. Woku chine ke woku ne nyendo, narari abunyoma. Oh my Father, my God, blessed be His God. Mighty man in battle, rock of ages, light of the whole world, God of Sabbath day, Lord of Sabbath day, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Adonai, my father Mekisedek, I worship you, I bless your holy name. Hey, through your son, Lord of Sabbath day, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God of Saturday, you are worthy to be praised. Uzani Lelosu Bokurundi Sutahi Bekileji Hale Gudumbu Bahakalandali Lesi de Lesiegi Otorumboroko sindi gile yele e gile tundurumba aya aya kurundurunde masure ke de shikarata sundara bakurba ta santa hi de rebo sondo robo ko shikere mesenda hi akara kakurele shikere le sentere be kurba ta hua kamaranda hi kerele hi Surutoro boko shike me kurubo do zunde ki eke de zende hi. Tanga ka da shinka hukurubo to soromondwa. Na hakande erekele shikerele sente. Tere mboro koto side. Ki yama hakanda hi akadua ka shike. Tere burulu sundu. Saka ka de keke yi me kuruta ishi. Ta sanda aki yama ladai ke lebe du mwa ganda hi aka ilei. He kungo robo sundoro konkurunde reke de shikai Takanka ile de ziye te ima kwa hai dere ma walai La kadabo rolo shie ke si dere me kwa anda hai ke lendei Buru lo sundei e kurumba kadamma kwa ku Legende zinde shikere me kwa kata hai kalanda ye Ora kapurundo surumoto sundei Tanga hai lama huanga hiele le shia Legele de kukurumbolo do sula Kireke iderengele shikera makuanta He burundo sude kiyama Haikato burumboyi Kele shie sendehi Uzan and the highest Hallelujah in the highest Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord of Sabbath Son of Sabbath God Almighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Son of God of Sabbath day, Giovanni C. is his father. I bless your name, I worship you. Kulala si tarakalata de zile te shike. Kurobo sondo robo kurumata hakadam maladua. Ebere ke suro to sondo pakaranda yike le le tinde shike. Hallelujah. Amen. Bushinde kia Tereke de shikeku Silata kakamara la shikerele sinte Bagede ki Heku gombo lo kodo shinge mwasuta Heke te kuru kodo zure Taranga kaka ikala tulu botoshi Sinde keke ime turu bakuaka Heyebo lo to sunde Kiyanga katuru mataha Burunto sondoro wa kuru guduzu Heye kukukuru matashike Rek mu ku 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 ki ki Sinda ka kan katan bata kuwa ka ka Yeke reme ku shikere le sunto Burunga te reme kuruma hai Here te sure de buwaka 
Heterekeke madwata Sinta kuaka kashike Rekukundo rodosure Heye merebanta surubakua Kerente hie keredesu Ndaranta ruwa kurwa Ta suratu rubakua rakanda Robo robo santo robo kuwa karama nshinka Ezeranta kurwa rakanta hie kekerele sinti Siide kukuma kaganda huwa katuru botosu Rebu kutuma kushike de burumbo kondo ikele mesu katai De kukuma ganta hainkaru wa kuara la sinte hii Tara karuwa sundara la ruwata ikele wa urata sinta huwa Robo rolo shingar ukuruma da ikele me kuran peke yele si Hetere keke yerele zundoro boku zundra batuwa hakai Tere nke hii ala huwa kata Roko shikelele sende Hiye keruma ururo ntosure Barangara la sunta Hakurumba huwa Tere nke te tenkere mburu ntosundua Rekende hii aka Heyeverele sunde Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah In the highest Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord of Sabbath day, King of glory. Praise our Father, Mekisadek, Jehovah, God Almighty, Yahweh. Praise His name right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. We are going to look into the word of God to see what our Father in heaven, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Adonai, God of Saturday, God of Seventh Day, God of Sabbath Day, what He commands us to do, how He wants us to worship Him, what he laid down for us to follow and keep his commandments concerning worshiping him on Saturday, not Sunday worship. We are talking about the right way to serve God. Because the right way to serve God is to keep his commandments. Love Jehovah God Almighty through his son Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth keep his commandments because when you keep the commandment of God means you love God and the God love you so let us look into the scripture the Word of God whether the day we are worshiping God is the right way or wrong way because the scripture made us to understand that God Almighty Create heaven and earth. On the seventh day, that is Saturday, he rested. And that is the day he wants us to worship him. Saturday, God choose for every soul who put his trust in him and who believe in him to worship him. Not on Sunday. Sunday worship is error. It's not of God. It's of the devil. But Saturday is the right day to serve Jehovah God Almighty with your family. If you worship on Sunday, eight days, you will go to hellfire. But when you worship God on Saturday and keep his commandment, he will enter into covenant with you through his son Jesus Christ, and you will be saved from hellfire, you will be saved from evil. So let us look into the scripture. And see the commandment of God. Hear it and put it into practice. So that you make heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me the word of the Holy Spirit. Open the book of Jeremiah. Open the book of Jeremiah. In Old Testament. In Old Testament. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Chapter 17. Chapter 17. Verse 19 to 27. Verse 19 to 27. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Chapter 17. Chapter 17. Verse 19 to 27. Verse 19 to 27. 
Verse 19 says, Yahweh said this to me. Yahweh says this to me. Go and stand. Go and stand. At the gate of the sons of the people. At the gate of sons of the people. By which the kings of Judah. By which the kings of Judah. Go in. Go in. And out. And out. And at all the gates. At out at all the gates. Of Jerusalem. Of Jerusalem. Say to them. Say to them. Listen to the word of Yahweh. Listen to the word of Yahweh. You kings of Judah. You kings of Judah. All you people of Judah. All you people of Judah. All you citizens of Jerusalem. All you citizens of Jerusalem. Who pass through these gates? Who pass through these gates? Yahweh says this. Yahweh says this. As you value your lives. As you value your lives. On no account. On no account. Carry a burden. Carry a burden. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. Or bring it in. Or bring it in. Through the gates of Jerusalem. Through the gates of Jerusalem. Bring no burden. Bring no burden. Out of your houses. Out of your houses. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. And do no work. And do no work. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Keep the Sabbath day holy. As I commanded your ancestors. As I commanded your ancestors. They would not hear. They would not hear. Would not pay attention. Would not pay attention. Grew so stubborn. Grew so stubborn. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Yahweh is speaking now. Jehovah God Almighty is speaking concerning Sabbath day. Concerning the day he asks us to worship him in truth and the spirit. Jehovah God Almighty is telling us today that he is the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, that without him there is no life. Jehovah God Almighty Yahweh choose a day for himself for us every living soul on earth to worship him and bow down for him and the day he choose for himself is the seventh day of the week and that seventh day is Saturday Saturday is the right day to serve Jehovah Adonai Yahweh God of Isaac and Jacob, God of Abraham, God of Ezekiel, God of Meshach and Abednego, God of Moses, he said, the day he wants us to worship him, is seventh day, Saturday, not Sunday, but today, the whole world rebel against Jehovah. They reject God Almighty. They refuse to keep His commandment. They refuse to obey His word. All of them hearken to the voice of Lucifer. All of them obey some gods. All of them obey Saul in the Bible who changed his name to Paul. Who changed the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday. Everybody follow the footsteps of so, Paul, instead of following the footstep of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, instead of following the footstep of Moses, the servant, the prophet of the Most High God, they rebel against Jehovah God. They disobey God Almighty. Follow the wrong way to hell fire. Jehovah God Almighty, Yahweh, is angry with the whole world. Is angry with the whole villages. Is angry with the whole nation. Is angry with the whole churches all over the world. Is angry with the whole kingdom here on earth. Because the whole world do what? Reject God Almighty commandment and follow the devil. Who turn this earth upside down and obey darkness, Lucifer, 
saw Sunday sun ghosts because they obeyed the instruction of Roman Empire who changed Saturday to Sunday. Why God Almighty choose Saturday? He blessed Saturday. He consecrates Saturday for himself. So Saturday is the right day that every soul will bow down for him. When you worship God on Saturday, seventh day, that means you are keeping the commandment of God. That means God has entered into covenant with you. Really, it's not everybody who worship on Saturday is keeping the commandment of God. But remember that God said, remember, remember, Saturday, remember, seventh day, remember, Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember that God Almighty said He commanded me and you to keep Sabbath day holy for Him. Brother, sister, or grandma, my papa, children, Saturday is the right day to serve Jehovah God Almighty through His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth served God on Saturday, seventh day. He kept the commandment of His Father. He said he came into this world to do what? To fulfill the commandment of his father. He did not come here to abolish it. But he came to show us the right direction to follow. So that we will not perish with Lucifer. But today, every soul choose to perish with devil on Sunday. And disobey the day God commanded us to worship him. I am here to tell you right now, according to the instruction of the Holy Spirit, according to the word of God Almighty, turn away now. Choose the right way. The right way and the right day to worship God Almighty is Saturday, not Sunday. Sunday will lead you to hell fire. You will perish with them because that they are not keeping the commandment of God and they are not doing the will of God. All the ministers today, minister of hellfire, have led souls to hell. They are not walking according to the commandment of God Almighty. The whole ministers, the whole preachers, the whole pastors, the whole evangelists, the whole bishop, the whole whatever they call them, the whole prophet today, the whole pope, I don't want to know how many they are. None of them keep the commandment of Jesus. None of them keep the commandment of Jehovah God Almighty. None of them follow the footstep of Jesus. They change Sabbath day to Sunday, from Saturday to Sunday. And the whole world is keeping it. Roman empires change the day of God Almighty. That is why calamity is falling upon the whole world. Untimely death, killing, poverty, failure, disasters in marriage. Today, look at women. They will dress up, they will naked. And they call themselves married women. They will expose their nakedness and their husband is seeing them. Their husband don't care. Mr. Man, if really you are worshipping God, you are keeping the commandment of God. God would have opened your eyes to know that your wife is not only you that is marrying her. Responsible child of God. Your appearance and your attitude shows whom you are. Even today in the churches, the naked and go to church, commit atrocity. Even the ministers of hellfire who call themselves ministers of hell. Yes, they commit atrocity because they have sold their soul to devil. Because they want the whole world to hear their name. But God Almighty, Jehovah God, is not hearing their name. Jehovah God Almighty, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, did not hear their name. He's not hearing their name. Their name is not written in the book of Sabbath day, seventh day. But their name is written in the book of Sunday worship, Son God. They are working for devil. They are working for Lucifer. And they are proud of it. 
leading their so, their, their family, their children, their wife, every member of their family, even all that souls to have fire. On Sunday is of the devil. Saturday is the right day to serve God Almighty. Yes, it is written in the commandment of God. It is written Old Testament and New Testament. Carry your Bible and invite Holy Spirit into your life so that Holy Spirit, the teacher of all teacher, will teach you the right way to follow. Teach you how to live your life so that your soul will not burn in hell with Lucifer. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me the word of the Holy Spirit. They would not listen. They would not listen. And will not accept instruction. And they will not accept instruction. But if you listen carefully. But if you listen carefully. To me. To me. It is Yahweh. It is Yahweh. Who speaks. Who speaks. And bring no burden. And bring no burden. Through the gate of this city. Through the gate of this city. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. If you keep the Sabbath holy. If you keep the Sabbath holy. And do no work on that day. And do no work on that day. Then. Then. Through the gate. Through the gate. Of this city. Of this city. King. Kings occupying the throne of David. Occupying the throne of David. We continue. We continue to make their entry. To make their entry. Mounted on chariots and horses. Mounted on chariots and horses. They. They. And their ministers. And their ministers. With the men of Judah. With the men of Judah. And the citizens of Jerusalem. And the citizens of Jerusalem. And this city, and this city will be inhabited, will be inhabited forever, forever. They will come, they will come through the towns of Judah, through the towns of Judah, from the districts around Jerusalem, from the districts around Jerusalem, from the land of Benjamin, from the land of Benjamin. From the lowland, from the lowland, from the highland, from the highland, from the Negev, from the Negev, to offer holocaust, to offer holocaust, and sacrifice, and sacrifice, oblation, oblation, incense, incense, and thanksgiving sacrifice, and thanksgiving sacrifice in the temple of Yahweh, in the temple of Yahweh. Yes, today nobody cares because. Every man who call themselves or women ministers, they are ministers to themselves. They refuse to keep the commandment of God. They are so stubborn and wicked according to the scripture. Jehovah God says they are so stubborn. They are stubborn. They are stubborn and wicked. They decide to choose their own way. The right day. To worship God is Sabbath day. The right day to keep the commandment of God is Saturday, seventh day. Yes, if you are a true minister of Yahweh, of Jehovah God Almighty, you follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. God is saying here, Jehovah God is saying here, He said, Men and women of caliber, we come from different angles to bless his name. And you as a servant of God will be blessed. There is nothing too hard for God to do. There is nothing. And as many who worship Jehovah God on Saturday and keep the seventh day holy, he said hungry will never kill them. He said that he is God of miracles, signs, and wonder. God of blessing. That he, can, he will turn your situation around for good. You will not cry for failure in your life. You will not cry for poverty. And Satan will not see you. That men, men of calibers, will come from the throne of David to do what? To lift his name higher, lift his name higher. That that Saturday, people will come with thanksgiving offering. The right day to worship God, to give God thanks, to bow down for Him is Saturday, not Sunday. Today, the thanksgiving of God Almighty, 
The whole world has given it to some God Sunday. Instead of giving it to God on Saturday. The whole world rebel against God. They give their thanksgiving, their tithe, their offering, their blessings. They give it to some God. And that is why Sunday, some God is dealing with the whole world. He's punishing both men and women, children. Killing them day and night. Remember that devil make vow that he will not exist in this world. See any single soul enter heaven. I want you all to remember it right now. And that is what Lucifer is doing. He's making sure day and night that nobody is interested in the truth. That everybody should become a liar like him. Everybody should become a wicked man and woman. Wicked man and woman. Everybody should become a great sinner. Just like he do. So that nobody will enter heaven. Yes. Satan is interested in your sin. He wants to see you sin. He wants to see you divert from the word of God. And that is why Roman Empire changed the day of worshipping God. The day we are supposed to worship God, Saturday, change it to Sunday. Open your eyes if you don't want to go to hellfire. Open your ears if you don't want to go to hellfire. Read the commandment of God. What God Almighty who give you breath? Who gave you life? What he wants you to do for him in your life. Not what you want God to do. Every day you wake up, you pray. You tell God to do this for you, do this for you. You tell God to lift you up. Bless your daughter, bless your child. Bless your husband and your wife. What are you doing for God? Do you really keep the commandment of God? Do you really worship God on Saturday, seventh day, as God commanded? Or you are worshiping devil who choose eight days? You are worshiping devil who choose Sunday worship. Let me tell you, if you abide to the commandment of God and you keep Saturday holy, let me tell you, you will stay away from sin. You will stay away from evil thinking. You will stay away from killing. You will stay away from trouble. Because Holy Spirit, Jehovah God Almighty, Jesus Christ will always be there to instruct you, to direct you how to do everything in your life. The devil saw Paul change the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday and the whole world is calling Paul. Let me tell you. Follow the footsteps of Jesus. Who worship his father. On Saturday. Not on Sunday. There is no place written in the Bible. That Jesus Christ says. That when he died. And resurrected. That we should change. The commandment of his father. And his own commandment. From Saturday to Sunday. Jesus did not say so. Read your Bible and bring out the truth. He did not say it. Jesus Christ said that he did not come to abolish the word of his father. The commandment of Jehovah God Almighty. He said he did not come to abolish the commandment of Yahweh. But he came to fulfill it. He came to bring it. So that the word of God will come to pass. And so Paul came and abolished it. Change it that you are free to worship any day you like. Yes. And then turn it. Saturday becomes the day of wedding. The day of nightclub. The day of boyfriend and girlfriend. The day of evil. The day of immoral art. Let me tell you. If you are carrying Bible and you are going to church on Sunday. Have it at the back of your heart. You are not a child of God. This is not my word. This is the word of Jehovah God who says in the scripture here that you all are so stubborn and wicked and heartless. He said that his, uh, as many that refuse to keep his commandment will be stoned to death, will be put to shame, will be disgraced with Lucifer. 
How, why do you choose to die with Satan? Why do you, you choose to want to ashes with Lucifer? Why do you choose to go to hellfire? You better make a U-turn now because there is no time. Jehovah God Almighty said I should tell the whole world there is no time. His son Jesus Christ and him is coming soon to take what belongs to him. To declare the earth. To judge the living and the dead. Why do you want to perish? Why do you choose to worship on Sunday? Close down your business. If you are a businessman and woman, close down your business on Saturday and worship God from morning to night so that God Almighty Jehovah God, the Father of Jesus Christ, the Father of the whole world, who has authority over Satan that you are worshiping on Sunday? Who has power over Lucifer you are worshiping on Sunday? I put it to you. Make a U-turn now and worship Jehovah God on Saturday as he commanded me and you to worship him on Saturday so that he will enter into covenant with you. So that you will be his son and daughter. So that you will be his daughter and his son. Don't say you did not hear this word. Because you will cry at the last day. Because Jehovah will tell you that he know you not. Because your name is not written on the seventh day book of life. Your name is not written on the seventh day. Sabbath day. You did not follow the footstep of Jesus Christ. Who worship his father on Saturday? Who teach in the synagogue? Who say so at hill? Who impart the word of his father in the life of both women and men? You are not following him. Pastor, you are not keeping the word of God. Evangelists, you are not keeping it. Bishops, you are not keeping it. Prophet of doom, you are not keeping the word of God. But again, Christians, to have fire, you are not keeping the commandment of God. You are keeping the commandment of Satan. You reject the commandment of God. Sabbath day, Sunday. You choose Sunday in your life. You choose Sunday worship. You obey the devil. You obey Saul, Saul. Son God. Who changed his name to Paul? Who changed the commandment of God from Saturday to Sunday? Why? Why do you rebel against God? Why do you become deaf? Why do you refuse to hear the truth? Truth is bitter. Take away shame. Throw shame out of your life. And keep the commandment of God. Make the devil to know that you have discovered the truth. Let Lucifer know that you don't want to go to hellfire. Make devil to know that the right day to serve God is Saturday, not Sunday. You demons of the world. You Lucifer that have changed the whole world. But very soon, as soon as possible, your game will be over. Your game will be over. Jehovah God Almighty has spoken through his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus himself said him is the Lord of Sabbaths. Him himself is Sabbath himself. Now as you are not worshipping Jesus Christ, Sabbath himself, you choose to worship Saul, son God. You choose to worship Saul, son God. Paul, who deceived the whole world. You choose to worship him and you reject Jesus. Lord of Sabbath day, who paid price for you on the cross of Calvary? Who gave birth to you? Yes, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Adam. Virgin Mary is Eve. That is why he gave birth to Jesus. Yes, because both of them are one. Remember that Adam is image. A likeness of God. Adam and Eve. Not any other image. 
Adam and Eve, they are true son and daughter of God. And through them, we came into this world. All of us who have gone through sin. Why do you want to die? Why do you want to perish? Through the sin of serpents. Through the sin that serpents, Lucifer, make Eve to commit with his brother Adam. Why don't you want to wash it away? And let Jehovah God enter into covenant with you. Adam have cried loud to God. And God accept Adam back home. Accept Eve back. What are you still waiting for? For you to vomit all the whole sin. You carry sin every day and you go to Sunday worship. And devil know you as his daughter and the son. Let me tell you, if the spirit of Sabbath day, love, Sabbath is love. Seventh day is love. That is the day God will show us his love. That is the day God wants us to eat and drink with him. That is the day God, Almighty Jehovah God, wants us to worship him in truth and in spirit. That is the day God decides to change our garment and wear our new garment. That is the day Jehovah God read, write our name in the book of life. That is the day God cancel our name from Saul, Son God, from Lucifer. Yes. Why don't you give your soul now to Lord of Sabbath day, Jesus Christ? Follow his footsteps. Do what Jesus Christ do. I renounce Saul, Paul, who changed the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday. Leave Sunday worship alone. It will destroy your life. Sunday worship we destroy your children's life. We send you to hellfire. Remember that Saul, anything Saul, Saul is evil. Remember that evil son is very, very hot. Heaven is free. Jesus Christ came back as Adam and paid the price on the cross of Calvary. And Virgin Mary pay a strong tax conceived through the expression of the Holy Spirit and give birth to God. God and His Son Jesus Christ are one. You can't accept Jesus and deny Jehovah God. You can't accept God and reject Jesus. Jesus made us to understand His Father is God of Sabbath and him is son of Sabbath him himself is Sabbath Sabbath it means Saturday seventh day worship God on Saturday worship God Almighty on Saturday not Sunday Sunday is wrong and let me give you the message of Jehovah God Almighty Kuranda Hikidi Labosoro Koto Shikelen Dezinda Heturu kaku tabuta sinda kuma la dei kereshike. La kuramba duzilete. Hakanta hi. Jehovah God Almighty. Through the expression of the Holy Spirit. Through his son Jesus Christ. Lord of Sabbath day. Says I should tell the whole world. If you refuse to worship him. On Saturday. As he commanded. Say remember the Sabbath day. Remember the seventh day. Keep the Sabbath day holy. As he commanded, say he commanded me and you to keep the Sabbath day holy. And that Sabbath day is Saturday. That as many that refuse to worship him on Saturday, we go to hell fire and we burn to ashes. We be stoned to death. That he has prepared a place in hell for every Sunday worship. For every man and woman for every child who obey his mother and disobey Jehovah God's commandment, he has prepared a place for every soul who keep the commandment of Satan on Sunday, Son God, Saul, 
pour in her fire. Why don't you now repent and give your life to Jesus? Read your Bible. See the commandment of God. See the commandment of Jesus. And choose it. Leave Paul. Leave Saul alone so that you will not die in hell with Lucifer. With Saul, Paul, who changed his name, who chose himself as an apostle. Why Jesus Christ did not choose him? Remember that Jesus Christ told us that he's going back to meet his, meet his father in heaven. That the ruler of this world is coming to change the word of God. He's coming to change the time. That is why Saul came and changed the time. Changed the commandment of God. And changed the word of God from Saturday to Sunday. And the whole world bowed down for Saul, son God, Paul. God is warning you. If you are still alive, he said there is no repentance in the grave. The death has no power anymore. When you die, you have no power. Pray for yourself and stop praying for death. Stop praying for dead bodies. Jehovah God, is, his name is, is holiness. No man on earth has the right to answer his holiness. I put it to you that his name is Holy One of Israel. Holy One of heaven and earth. That is his name. Any man who answer his holiness, stay away from him. Any woman who answer his holiness, stay away from him. He's an antichrist worker. He's a worker of iniquity. He came to destroy you and your generation. Jehovah is his holiness. No power can take away that seed from him. That is why you must give your life to Jehovah God so that he will enter into covenant with you. As a promise, so that you will be holy like him, so that he will make you pure and righteous, so that he will cancel your name from the book of Sunday worship, transfer your name into the book of life, and the book of life is Sabbath, Saturday, the foundation of Christianity, foundation of truth, foundation of love, foundation of peace, foundation of holiness is Saturday. Saturday worship belongs to God Almighty. Saturday worship belongs to God. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Follow Jesus.